Uh, we'll just start. We'll, we'll just do new game. Resident Evil. It's not the game we're playing today. In my dreams, I dreamt of that town, that silent hill, too many times. Man, I don't know how you could be so close and yet so far off. I don't know much about the Silent Hill franchise. I played of it, bits and pieces here, and I think I may have beaten Silent Hill 4, but outside of that, I don't know a whole lot about it. Kind of out of the loop. Silent Hill 4, the only one you've ever beaten? I'm pretty sure that might be the case, yeah. It's weird that that's the one that you've beaten. Well, that was the only one that was on PlayStation 2, which was the console that I had. Alright. Uh, no Silent Hill... Could you really be in this town? This one is on PlayStation 2, Silent Hill 3 is on PlayStation 2, Silent Hill 4 is on PlayStation 2. I didn't- I did not realize that. Yeah. Silent oh wait, Hill you're one, right! This si isn't a PlayStation 1 game, what am I thinking? Yeah, Silent Hill 1 is the only one- is the only Silent Hill game- Well, I shouldn't wait, say no. only, Wait, no. Is it Silent Hill 2 is done? Uh... No, Silent no, Hill- No, no, no! Oh, man, what, what am I- Yeah, Silent Hill 2 is a PlayStation 2 game. Of course, I'm losing my mind! Actually, no. Now I can't remember. Yeah, it's a- it's a PlayStation 2 game. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. This is a nice introduction. I like it. You know, it's nice to be able to see what the intro looks like in this remake, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be quiet. I got a letter. The name on the envelope said Mary. My wife's name. It's ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be true. That's what I keep telling myself. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. So then why am I looking for her? special place what could she mean this whole town was our special place could mary really be here is she really alive waiting for me well that was a very nice introduction to the game starting off on a very strong foot Yay, Silent Hill 2! This game is finally out! Yeah, the remake of Silent Hill 2. Everyone thought this game was gonna be crap! A lot of people did, yeah. Everybody thought this game was gonna be crap. I... I don't want to say I thought it was gonna be crap, but I definitely was not expecting it to be as good as it is. No, the company that made this remake, Bluebird Team, I believe, has had some real stinkers, from what I've been told. It, it, I mean, we don't need to necessarily get into that because it's they're, they're, it's very the is, is discussion it, on Bloober Team is very opinionated. I see. Um, so we won't necessarily get into that because it's uh, multi layered. But yeah, people were uh, people were not happy that Bloober Team was doing this. They did a really good job. Yeah, it's um, it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I heard the reception of this game was very good. It's been very good. I don't actually want to play Silent Hill, though, so we're just going to leave. <laughs> this isn't Silent Hill. This is Silent Hill 2, so you can have some fun with it. Uh, no, I can't leave. Mary might be in this town. I was very surprised by, uh, by this game. I really didn't think it was going to be as good as it was. I do remember bits and pieces of this game, and also what's entered popular culture, because this game is so well received that people do talk about it, and it, re it refreshes my memory, like, oh yeah, there was this and that and this and that. Silent Hill 2 is widely considered to be the best Silent Hill game. I would say that uh, while, the, while the first Silent Hill is more of a traditional survival horror game, i.e. you're in a town and you're dealing with cult activity... You're in a town dealing with cult activity. This one is much more psychological horror. Okay. Which makes it more compelling. Yeah. 
The first game established a great premise, and the second one builds on it. Kind of, but it's like you could even you could maybe even argue that the second one doesn't even take place in in the town of Silent Hill proper. Hold on a second. Is this a new? I rem I remember very little from the original Silent Hill too. But don't you go through that tunnel? That there was a bunch of fog. No, you don't. There is another tunnel that you go through later. Oh, okay. That must, that must be what I'm thinking of then. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm not I'm not like a huge. Oh my god, the game looks so amazing and the frame rate is so good. I'm not I'm not really into that level of graphical graphical enthusiasm. Graphical, yeah, graphical. That's a much more polite way of putting it. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm not really into that, but like, damn, this game looks good. It looks very nice. You know, the original fog was uh, there to mask the uh, low render distance in Silent Hill 2, but... You know, Same thing for Silent Hill 1. Yeah. So that it, it had a real mechanical purpose in that game, but now it's got a really aesthetically pleasing purpose to it. The trees are wafting gently. No, there was a thing. You didn't hear it? I didn't. No, I was talking, I guess. There was a, there was a, there was a noise. Something stepped on a branch, maybe? It was a weird noise. Mm. Don't want to rush too far. This could be a treacherous area. No, I'm sure absolutely nothing bad will happen to Someone me Someone starts pushing a boulder down the hill. You got to mash the A button to run away from it. One of the things you see almost any time someone mentions Silent Hill is that it is based off of the town of Centralia, Pennsylvania. Okay. Which is a town that was a coal mining town and somebody started a fire near a coal pit and the fire spread to underground, and now the coal mines are on fire, and the entire town has been evacuated, and it's completely abandoned. Mm -hmm. That comes up, like, almost every single time. Is that just a rumor? That is not true. It, it's just get passed the around. The movie, as Silent Hill, the environments were based off of the town of Centralia, Pennsylvania, okay. which is why the movie takes place, they turned Silent Hill into a mining town. Okay. The video games are not based off of Centralia, Pennsylvania. What is that? It's... That's how you save. Oh! See, there's me. You can see your reflection. Is, is it just in any body of water you can save? Uh, it's like a... It's Technically, it's just the red thing. Oh, the floating red buoy. Oh, it's like someone's groping around my skull. Rude. So, yeah, I played a bit of the Silent Hill games, and then I played through the entirety of Silent Hill 4, but that was so long ago, I barely remember any of these games. I thought you had played through Silent Hill 2. I, I probably played a fair amount of it, actually. Something that I remember, I'm not sure what game it's from, but I could have sworn it was from a Silent Hill game, is there was one game that my mission objective was to get to the bottom left corner of the map, and there were like 20 different bridges to do that across a chasm, but every time I would try to go across one of the bridges, it was it bottomed out. It was like it was a bridge I couldn't pass through. That might be Silent Hill 4. Maybe I'm thinking of Silent Hill 4. Yep. Silent Hill 4 is pretty widely regarded as not great. Oh, I didn't hate it when I played it. Who is this? I found her! It's Marie! Hi! No. Excuse me. <gasps> you should just say I'm something, sorry. James. I, Come on. I was just... Hey, it's okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Yeah. I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... I think you should stay away. This, uh... This town, there's something wrong with it. And it's not just the fog, either. Is it dangerous? Maybe. They're sharks. It's kind of hard to explain, but... I'll be careful. I'm not lying. No, I believe you. It's just... Land sharks. I guess I don't really care if it's dangerous or not. I'm a thrill seeker. I'm going either way. But why? I'm looking for... Someone. Someone. Yeah. Someone very important to me. I'm looking for someone. Who are you looking for? And then James just turns into Borat. <laughs> I'm my wife! <laughs> I mean, my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here. 
but I can't find them either. I'm sorry, it's not your problem. We should go looking no. together. I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. There's safety in numbers. No, we should Scooby-Doo split up, gang. Well, she looks like Velma. We had to go with her. So I, I will say that when I started playing this game, mm. I was initially like, damn, this game looks really good. You know? Okay. Yeah. They, they, made it, they made it look better, but like, all right, whatever. It's 2024. The game obviously should look better. Yeah. If you're doing a, if you're doing a remake of a 20-year-old game. 24-year-old mm -hmm. game because it came out in the year 2000. Damn, all right. Obviously, it should look better. Mm -hmm. But once I got to this cutscene, I was like, oh my god, this game is already so much better. Because voice... Angela, that's Angela. Okay, yeah. Angela, in, the, in this game and in the original, is supposed to be 19 years old. Mm -hmm. She looks 40-something in the original game. Yeah. She I... does not look 19. Yeah, no, I didn't get that vibe. I didn't know she was 19 until this year. When I started looking into the game more, mm. and I was like, oh my god, she was supposed to be 19. So, uh, how's the voice acting compared to the The original? voice acting is so much better! I'm gonna play the- I'm gonna play that exact same cutscene from the original game. Alright, and I'll probably put a version of it up on screen, you, too. You don't have to put, like, the entire thing. Yeah. Excuse me, I- <gasps> Oh! I- I'm sorry. I- I- No, I was it's just... okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? <laughs> I was about to say that this cutscene still kind of holds up, but that was kind of goofy. It looks okay. Yeah, basically the same dialogue. Thanks. It's the same dialogue, but like the delivery's so bad. Who knows? Maybe the jilty, janky, stilted dialogue kind of added to the weirdness of it. It, to be fair, yeah, it kind of did. For its it, time, this might have been the best it version kind of, the of It kind of did add to the the weird the weirdness of it. Because, the unease, yeah. Because this game is partially... This game is inspired by Twin Peaks, which has some really weird dialogue in it. Yes. Um, it's, I remember that line. I remember her going, I'm looking for my mama. It's memorable. Look, she doesn't look 19, though. She does not. No, she looks a lot older in this old cutscene. Once I got to this cutscene, I was like, oh, they made this a lot better. Mm hmm Have you beaten this game yet, Silent Hill 2? Did you I haven't yet, no. Would you say, based on your time with it, that is it's the superior version? This? And that you, it, unlike, like, with no, um, just... other games, you wouldn't necessarily recommend going back to play the original? I, I think it's the superior version. Um, the original is always going to be, is always going to have a like special place because it is the original one mm. but i find this one to when i play the original silent hill 2 there aren't any moments where i'm like oh god oh shit oh fuck oh god oh shit or there are not any moments where i'm actually scared well isn't that because you're used to it though no it's just because it's goofy it's oh it's old and dated and kind of yeah goofy. and like it's it's because it's just kind of like old and dated even when it was current i didn't really feel like any sort of way about it, but this one has legitimately scared me at points. Okay. The sound design in this game has been so good. It it looks amazing. Honestly, watching you play kind of makes me want to play it. I mean, you should definitely get it. It's been really good so far. Honestly, it I probably should consider doing it, yeah. I've played bits and pieces of Silent Hill. I'm pretty sure I've played bits and pieces of Silent Hill 2 and 3 and 4, but I'm not sure if I've ever played the through Silent Hill 2 in its entirety. I've Sil obviously gathered a lot of the plot from people talking about it, but... Yeah. It seems like a game I should definitely give a chance. Silent Hill 2 is widely regarded and is considered by many to be one of the greatest video games ever made. Mm -hmm. And that's the original one, not this one. That's even with the weird, goofy dialogue <laughs> and the, you know, not amazing cutscenes. Right. This game is, so far I've been really, really impressed with this game. It has actually been really good. It's been a very, very faithful remake. They haven't taken, the things I was worried about when I found out that they were remaking this game and it wasn't Konami hmm. that was doing it. Which, all right, let's just get this out of the way. Fuck Konami, okay, there, you can. Yeah. 
Everyone, type I your type your fuck Konami comments down in the chat and then delete them. We've all seen them. It's fine. We're moving on from that. Well, hold on. Konami, yeah. I mean, they used to be pretty bad in the last, like, 2010s. Was They had a pretty rough pachinko machine era. But... I would say they've been rough up, up until, like, 2020. Yeah. But um, in the late the last couple of years, they seem to be surprisingly bouncing back. Kind of. Like the Metal Gear Solid remakes were they're not really remakes. There's one the, remake. The re-releases or, yeah. like, the... Yeah. Those... Those have been, those have worked decently well. Um, I'm still, I still don't know how I feel about Metal Gear Solid Delta. Yeah. I'm, I'm still. Still apprehensive. It's not out yet. It's yeah. not out yet. Based on this, maybe it'll be better, but I have to say that Konami didn't make this. Hmm. It was made by Bloober Team with input from Konami. Konami was just the publisher. So your expectations were set pretty low and-, and My expectations were set very low for this. I did not expect this to be good. I thought it was gonna be just kind of a shameless cash grab. Mm -hmm. um, but the original team that worked on Silent Hill 2 has basically come out and said, yeah, this is really good. They did a really good job of this. And from what we can see, yeah, so far it seems great. I mean, we're still just in the very intro of the game. Well, you've played more of it. Went to town to get the window fixed. Spare key is in the drawer. Okay. So this is kind of like an old point-and-click game st style of game, too. Yeah, the old so Hello. the old survival horror are games are very much like a point-and-click adventure. Nothing. Nothing in the locker. Hey, look, nothing. Key is in the drawer. Oh boy, nothing. Ooh, you can take a look at the key. Yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> There's a pinup right there. Hubba hubba. Check out the blurred face on this hottie. Yeah, this, this whole place is kind of mildewy. There's so much stuff in this game that's like, when you look at it, you wonder if it's just happenstance or if it's intentionally like that. Um, How they're torn, you mean? So like that, that poster, one of the enemies in this game is... Um, yeah, this isn't a spoiler. One of the enemies in this game is basically two sets of legs stuck together. Mm -hmm. And that poster looks... Not not that one. That one. <laughs> yes. looks kind of Looks kind of like that. Kind of, yeah. There's a point later in the game where, again, this is not a spoiler, but you start seeing... You see some movie posters. Mm. And one of the movie posters is... Uh, for a fake movie that is called Return to Owl Creek Bridge. <laughs> this time... Or return to Owl Creek Bridge in search of a happier ending. Which, if you don't know what that is, I wouldn't blame you. An Occurrence at Owl Creek Bridge is the original short story that's from the 1890s. Damn. And then there was a 1960s French film that was based on it that became an episode of Twilight Zone called An Occurrence at Owl Creek Bridge. Wow. And the spoilers for An Occurrence at Owl Creek Bridge. The plot of the story is a man... Uh, a man escapes from being hanged on a on a bridge and runs away and tries to make it back to like his his house <laughs> uh, only you find out at the end of the story that he actually is being hung to death and these are that's what he's dreaming of as he's being as he's dying ha huh. and it's i i have to say that that absolutely blew my mind when i saw a movie poster not referencing an occurrence at Owl... Well, referencing an occurrence at Owl Creek Bridge, but referencing a fake movie called A Return to Owl Creek Bridge in this game. I'm just like... It's wow, that is a deep cut. Yeah. I tweeted about it, and it got like 100 likes, and basically every single reply was, what's an occurrence at Owl Creek Bridge? <laughs> and like, I expected that to happen, but... This is the part you probably remember, because... Yeah, yeah, you're squeezing through this barricade here. So this is the thing that they have added to this game, is that there are areas that were in the original game that aren't necessarily in this, but when you go up and interact with, that, with them, it plays a little tone, and it does, like, a TV static thing. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so it's actually, like, a little homage, a little reference? Yeah, it's referencing the original one. I think if you collect all of them, something happens. Wait, do you, do you not actually go through there in this one, though? Nope. You oh. don't go through there in this one, because that's where you get the weapon. Yeah, that's where you get one. your first weapon. I definitely remember that. Silent Hill. Oh boy, Silent Hill. But you already were in Silent Hill, but I guess it's just the outskirts of Not the city. Not yet. We're like we were in the city limits, but we weren't in Silent Hill. Yet. I see. So like, that if you lived out there and you were filling out your taxes, you wouldn't have to check the box that says you live in the city. Got yeah, it. Like that might be the county police or the county sheriff shows up at your house if you call the cops, but not the uh, not the not the city police. Okay. There's a 
Yeah, there's Drain. Ooh, is that a canal right there to your right? Uh, yes. Who seems kind of dry? It looks like the LA River, only it's not big enough. That is a tiny shopping cart. <laughs> well, it's just far away. Or maybe it's like shopper in training shopping cart. Oh, uh, like one of the ones they have for little kids. Yeah, they yeah. can push around and be like an adult. Is that a cornfield to your right? Yeah, it is. Huh. Weird layout for the town. The the environments in this game, they did such a good job making them. They look really, really good. Seem very enticing. I you... think they I think they did an incredible job, like making everything look good in this game. Especially when you go back and compare to the original ones. Any changes that they made to the game so far of what I have seen, any changes they've made to this game have been, I think, beneficial. Okay. There is a boss fight in the original game. I'm not going to spoil anything. There's a boss fight in the original game that... The, the room you have the boss fight in is kind of whack. It's not very good. And they substantially improved it in this game. Is it the boss fight with the Oh no, they changed that one too, and that's actually, they, that is improved a lot as well. I do kind of remember that one being kind of wank. No, I'm, I'm talking about the boss fight uh, with the um, Don't spoil it for me, because I think I might actually want to play this game. Okay, I won't spoil it for you. Alright. So wait, there was a map right there, and it, like... Yeah, we it... found a map of Silent Hill. Here See, I, I seem to remember a map very similar to this, and it was, at one point I needed to go to the bottom left corner of the map, but all the roads were blocked off, and it was very frustrating. But it might be a different Silent Hill game. It might be Silent Hill 1 or Silent Hill... It could be 1, 3, or 4, honestly. I'm not sure. Wouldn't surprise. I, I'm guessing it's either 1 or 3 that I'm thinking of. One of the things that I really like about the... I'll, I'll talk about the thing on the map later once we, once we get to it. Flowers? Oh, boy. Oh, boy! Celebrating 70 years? Wow! Let's go inside! I should get flowers for Mary! When we find her. Or maybe for Angela. No. No, we don't need to get flowers for Angela. Wait, did we learn her name? Or am I... Uh, I don't think she actually said her name at the beginning. Yeah, I just she was just girl when we left. Yeah. We parted... Ooh, there's a blood what trail here. This? This could be Chris's blood. This could be Harry Mason's blood. <laughs> Aren't you Harry Mason? No, Harry's the, Harry's the main the uh, oh, protagonist right. of Silent Hill One. Right, you're James. You're James. Yeah. Is that a mail truck? I, lo I love how they made the mail truck. They even made like a little. They even made a little logo for it. That's got like a <laughs> dove on there. Yeah. They put nice. a fake phone number on there. It's it does yeah no area code or anything. <laughs> you can tell effort went into it and. It's also good. You know, sometimes I put effort into it, it doesn't turn out good, but it seems good yeah, so far. They... Note. Mr. K so if you can't read cursive, there's a, there's yep. a version right there. Uh, ordered a mixed bouquet, red and white, tried to explain it's bad luck, but he couldn't decide on just one. He seemed a bit off and looked at me like I wasn't even there. Then he left, said he'd be back to pick him up later. Just wanted to let you know since I might be gone by then. Sometimes you read letters in this game and you're like, is that me? Are they talking about me? I also, I had that exact same fan growing up. <laughs> I swear to God, I had I owned that exact fan. Blue colored fins and everything. Blue colored fan blades with these giant buttons that you push the button on. It goes chunk. I think that's just how fans were made back then. Ew! Know. Use an ashtray. Oh, that's cigarettes. Gross. Ugh. Like, fine if you want to smoke indoors. This but flower place hasn't. It's not exactly... It's not looking... It's not looking great. It's kind of derelict. I like the building, though. The building is really cool. Yeah. The plants have started to take over. Now they're, they're kind of dying. It's not just blatant nostalgia bait. I'm not playing the game, and then something is basically just, like, dangling Silent Hill 3 in front of me, being like, Remember? Do you remember Silent Hill 3? Do you remember Silent Hill? Do you remember Silent Hill, the original Silent Hill? There are parts where it's like, remember the original Silent Hill 2, but, you know... There are, if, there are references. They did it in a good way. Okay, wait, what, what, we, ran, we ran into this wall here. What is this wall? Uh, clearly someone's doing construction. Ah. Yeah, that's that's normal, right, James? It's a giant wall full of sheets. Also, I, I really like how they made James look, uh, because he just looks really sad. <laughs> he looks kind of miserable, yeah. He looks so sad. <laughs> he looks so incredibly sad. And... As you get further in the game, he gets just, like, more and more tired. Oh, yeah? He starts getting really dark bags under his eyes. When you look at the map, you'll notice that his fingernails are, like, all relatively clean. Mm. Like, he's washed his hands recently. Towards the end of the game, his fingernails are just, like, dirty as shit. Damn. 
But maybe that's probably because you should stop reaching into fucking toilets, James. <laughs> yeah. Well, how else is he going to get the keys out? James, you know, he has been... When you look at the Silent Hill protagonists, James is kind of labeled as a weird dude who shoves his hands into holes. <laughs> and not unfairly, because that happens like more than three times in this game. Did you find a hole and James is just like, well, I guess I'll stick my hand in here. Let's see what... Yeah, all right. Yeah. I love the reference in, the reference to Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3 where you find, you're playing as Heather Mason and you find a toilet and you, one of the button presses you get is reach into toilet. <laughs> so you press the button and Heather like kneels down and goes to stick her hand in there and then stops and she's like, oh, that's disgusting. Turns and looks directly at the camera and goes, <laughs> who would do something like that? <laughs> Marvelous. Smash cut to James shoving his entire arm all the way past the elbow into a toilet. Yeah. <laughs> so you've played a fair amount of this game so far. Would you say there's anything that they dropped the ball on or maybe play, a place they could have improved upon? Not, not really. Sometimes the facial animations or like the mouth movements in uh, not cut scenes, like in the actual gameplay are a little... Wonk. Little jank. Okay. But, like, it looks fine enough. Okay. I mean, at least it's not, like, not that I'm complaining, but... Oh. The first encounter with something. <laughs> gonna ask it for directions, too? I think he's... He's... Considering whether or not he even wants to interact with whatever that is. Is this a Silent Hill game where there's pterodactyls attacking you throughout the thing? Uh, no, that's Silent Hill 1. Wait. Maybe I've played more of Silent Hill 1 than I remember. Just me noticing weird, arbitrary crap, because as, as per usual, I have really weird interests. This is 100% accurate for how payphones looked. Like, th including the save on collect calls with like a weird... Number, yeah. A phone number for some collect call thing. Small amount of graffiti. Maybe like, there's like a, a couple of nickels in the coin return slot. Dude, they nailed, they nailed it. They nailed it. This game takes place in the late 80s, I believe, right? Uh, yeah, so they never explicitly say when this game takes place. But based on how all of the cars look, and based on, like, certain things, it takes place at some point between, between the late 70s and late 80s. And I know that's a 10 year time period, but it's at some point in there. There is one point you find someone's diary. Ooh, a chasm. Ooh, watch out for that. A hole. See, yeah, I, maybe this is the game I'm thinking of where every, every time you try to go down the street, there's a hole you can't go past. There's a, there's an old Two Best Friends Play video where they played the original Silent Hill 2 and the theme of it was shit's locked, yo. Yeah. Because everything is just locked. One of the things I love about this game is that you update the map as you do stuff. I'm pretty sure that's how it worked in the original one. It, it did work in the original, but I, I just love that. It I is think that's a very great. handy thing to... Yeah. Um, do not enter. That sign won't stop me because I can't read. Area closed off due to accident. Well, we're going to cop another accident as I climb over the barbed wire and then I get cut up on it. So that was in the original one. That is that not the way you progress in this game. We have to find a different way. Okay. Um, yeah, so like I was saying, sometimes the mouth animations are a little... Eh, but yeah. like, by comparison, Elden Ring, they just go... Ow, 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 bop, bop, ow, like ow, a fish. Ow, bop, 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 And then bop. they just put the voice over it. I mean, like, in previous FromSoft games, they didn't even animate the mouth to moving. Yeah. It's just, they just talk to you. Anyway. So, I'm, you know, I'm willing to cut them some slack on that one. Hmm. Uh, free milk crates. There you go. How did oh. that milk crate get that damaged? You gotta wonder. The rain couldn't have done that much. Maybe somebody, maybe that person you saw earlier, or that thing you saw earlier, accidentally stepped on it. So, one of the things that I get frustrated with when it comes to games like this is uh, getting stuck, getting lost in the map. Is it pretty linear, or is The game is pretty linear, but I could see you potentially getting lost on maps. Because early survival horror games were a lot like a point and click adventure you do end up doing a lot of trial and error of go here try this door go here try this door go here try this door mm. um and if that's not something you're willing to do or put up with i can see people see, getting very frustrated mm. uh 
but like it's really not that bad like if i can figure out where if i the man who gets lost more than anyone else in human history can figure out how to navigate the game I'm sure you can figure it out. I don't know. I feel like my sense of direction might be a bit worse, especially when it comes to things like this. Wandering around a, a, a town with not a lot of, uh, you can't see it very far in the distance. One of the nice things that you can do is just open the map and just go to, uh, go to where is not, has not been marked with red yet. Okay. So if you check out the map right now, oh, never mind. You can see in this building. I want to go in there. I kind of want to go in there too, just by looking at it. Yeah. But if you look at the map right now, you see where you are and it seems like Basically, every street is closed off. Uh, maybe you can take Wiltsy Avenue and go up the right. Well, that's and... where I came from. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure where you're supposed to go right now. Every road is blocked off. This Maybe I have played this game. Maybe this is what I'm thinking of. I, I think what you're probably supposed to do is follow the... Uh... Follow the noise. You were supposed to follow the, um, the horrible creature. That is one of the things... So, yeah, you were because... Behold. Oh, look, more of that weird blood stuff. Huh, maybe I need to go this way. I see. Just use your logical sense. Yes. Yeah. Down the back alley, there's someone's grill. Ooh. Ah, those are just clothes flapping in the wind. Yeah, don't worry about those. Those are fine. It's not unsettling at all. And obviously... Also, look, you, know, you leave footprints. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I was I was not gonna say it earlier because I didn't want to be like, oh my gosh, graphics! But the the mud effects look very nice. If you turn the graphics up, it looks even better. I'm I'm not sure if anything has changed really. You you might have to like restart the game. Yeah, you might have to. Yeah. It's a very creepy area. I hear things off in the distance. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a little off-putting. So, uh, I, yeah, those, those old-school point-and-click Sierra-style games can be a bit frustrating. I don't think it's going to be as bad as some of those. No, it's not going to be as bad as that. Look around to find objects marked by a white cloth. Those are objects or traversals you can interact with. So, yeah, if, if the yellow paint just makes you so furious that you can't think properly, uh, here you go. It's marked with, like, white cloths, which would make more sense than yellow paint. And I'm sure you could use yellow paint from the accessibility options. I'm sure that'll be a thing. Um, what are the things you can... Oh. Well, I guess we're I guess we're stuck in here. You could just climb out through that. Probably, although that seems dangerous. Um, one of the things that you can do in the settings in accessibility is you can just turn on a traversal icon, which currently is off right now. Oh, there so you go. So instead of instead of yellow paint, you can just have it literally marked with a button or a white dot, and you can make it a gigantic <laughs> button or gigantic dot in case you actually cannot figure out where you're supposed to go. I really do appreciate that because I feel like I'm a goober and I might actually need that. Also, you can turn on quick time event icons. You can turn on how big the icon is. Uh, a lot of adjustability. Yep. A lot of accessibility options in this game. I think that's really nice. It is very nice. Um, one of the things, I don't know if you remember, in the original Silent Hills, you have a radio and the radio starts making static noises when there's enemy nears, enemies nearby. Mm -hmm. You can turn on an accessibility option where it just displays an icon in the top corner telling you, hey, the radio's making noise. Ah, so if you're hard of hearing. Very handy. <laughs> oh, James, you're so miserable. He's very, very tired. There's a bed right there, James. I'm not going to sleep in that. Probably only a couple of rats in there's that a, There's a part later in the game where this woman that you're you're traveling with, like, is like, I'm really tired, and she lays down on a bed, and the bed is just, like, the most disgusting bed ever, <laughs> and she just, like, lays down and goes, mmm, comfy, and I'm just like, oh, God, <laughs> why are you laying down on that bed? No, don't put your head on it. Oh, my uh, God. I love passing out in animal waste and human waste and everything waste. Nutritional supplement. It looks like, uh, is it Bacchus D I'm thinking of? I imagine this game would be a lot spookier if there weren't two people talking to each other about it and you're playing in the dark and, you know, it was like late at night. Oh, it isn't Bacchus D. Bacchus D is blue. What's the little energy drink I'm thinking of? Whatever, it doesn't well, matter. Well, it's not, yeah. It's not Go Energy Drink from Long Dark. No. I mean, we're also at the very beginning of the game. It's not really super spooky yet. But I, I'm saying that later on it'll probably ramp up the, the uh, spooky factor. Oh, it does. It does. I have had multiple moments where I'm like, why I'm getting, I'm getting goosebumps. This is actually scaring me. And radio! There, there's the radio that makes noise when the monsters are near. James. Oh man, the thing is busted. James, there's, there's a thing. 
There's the thing, James. Hey, excuse me! Is this the way to Silent Hill? So, yeah, you might be jumping out the window in a second here. What? What an unsettling monster design. Dude, the monster designs in this game are so good. And now... They've, been, they've kept it basically exactly as the original. Um, now... You can do a dodge. Nice. I don't think that was in the original. Nope. Whoa! Hi. So if you played the original, you'll know that the combat in the original was kind of... It was wank. I didn't like it. It was bad. It was it was pretty jank. Yeah, I see what you're doing. You're using your foot to save your weapon durability because you don't want it to break on you too soon. Oh, thank God there's no weapon durability in this game. <laughs> and this is what you get for inventing the concept of weapon durability. What was that thing? Brutal. That is brutal. <laughs> I love that they gave him like the Isaac Clark stomp, but this is this is another thing I love about this game is that Isaac Clark is just like when he's stomping shit, it is just he is a man who is very fucking mad. Yeah. Yeah. When James is stomping stuff in this game, he is a man who is very scared. Feels very frantic. He's just going like ah, ah, as he's like stomping on top of things, whereas when you're just stomping as Isaac Clark, it's just anger. Yeah. It is a lot of anger. Yeah. I, I love how they did this. Like, they did... It's... I keep saying that, but, like, man, they did a really good job. And that's gonna be very difficult just in general because horror games from the older eras, the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 eras, there, were, there was a little resolution, and there's that theory when it comes to horror things that the less you can see, the, the less detail you can see, the scarier a thing can be. Mm -hmm. That's why the fog is so scary. That's why low-rendered... Low polygon, low resolution monsters are scary, so it was gonna be a real challenge in general. Of all the of all the games and all the genres that would be difficult to bring into modern technology, survival horror has gotta be up there. Yeah. You don't wanna to become too reliant on jump scares, and I feel like this game did a really good job of not being reliant on jump scares. If you see a man in- if you see a weird creature, that's actually just my friend, Roger. He got stuck in his gimp suit. Please help him out, and then he'll tell you exactly where I am. If you see a guy with a pyramid head, don't stare at him for too long, because people that aren't, that aren't familiar with the series might think that's all that the game series is about, and they might oversaturate- Oh man, oversaturate they, just, it they for, just put pyramid head in everything. Yeah. It, it's kind of frustrating. And they might put him in the Warner Brothers Smash Brothers clone knockoff and lose all the horror elements. Did they? I don't, I don't think so. God, I hope not. They did that with Freddy Krueger and things like that. It's like, yeah, Freddy Krueger is just hanging out with Bugs Bunny and... Yeah. Uh, weird, but alright. So this is one of the other things that they've changed to this game is that now you can, like, smash the windows on vehicles. Ooh, and get items from it. And maybe there's items inside the vehicle. Man, those are pretty fragile windows. I'm really hoping that that's not one of the things that makes you get a bad ending, is that you smash a bunch of windows, because I have been breaking windows like crazy. I forgot this game has multiple endings. It does have multiple endings. Do you know something else that's interesting about the original Resident Evil 2, and also to a lesser extent this one? Ooh. Neely's Bar. Almost all of the corpses that you find in Silent Hill are just the character model of James, with his features disfigured so you can't tell it's him. But those are literally the exact same boots and the exact same jacket and the exact same pants as James. Damn, yeah, I thought you'd bring that up, yeah. There's another There's another person you find... We, oh, we might actually get to him. We'll see. Hello? Hey, radio, where's the heads up on that? Oh, that one scurried away pr pretty quickly. Oh, shit, I'm late for work. <laughs> You know, it'd be. I know we get used to the same enemies over and over again in, in, you know, in, in games in general. But if they randomize the enemy stats, some of them just moved significantly faster or were more aggressive, just to throw you off your guard. That'd be a fun mechanic. Yeah, I don't know if it would necessarily work for this game because I feel like the combat isn't the. It's not the focus. The combat is not the focus of this game. I have seen quite a few people complaining about the lack of enemy variety. Uh, and my response to that is, shut up, nobody cares. Um, 
yeah, there's a lack of enemy variety, but again, combat is not the main part of this game. It could be an important aspect for other people that don't know that it's well regarded for its psychological aspects. Uh. Oh! No, no! no uh. Coming in after you, huh? The radio said no! Was giving you a bit of a heads up on that. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, there's a lack of enemy variety in this game, but this game is not made it to be, oh, wow, what a cool... Wash away... Oh, is it an advertisement for laundry detergent? Wash away the stains of yesterday. Hmm. 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 Might need that for later. Gotta wash some clothes. I wonder what that's supposed to mean. There is a lot of stuff in this game that's like... I wonder what the game means by that. Like, for example, you find a poster at a later part of the game that's in the hospital that says like it says like if you are suffering a from a lack of worthlessness uh, feelings of worthlessness something it's like a bunch of different things that are re related to depression and one of the things on the poster says uh ow. one of the things on the poster says specifically feelings of guilt <laughs> but when you when you read so excuse me when you look at the poster, you can see it on there. When you press the read button, it doesn't say feelings of guilt. Ha. Huh. Because it's like James's subconscious is just blurring that word out because it doesn't want to think about it. Oh, hi. Oh, hey, it was hiding under the car. Whoa. Also, for people that were complaining about the combat in this game, if you compare the combat in this game... Penguin bullets. Penguin bullets for ammo for a gun you don't have. If you compare the combat in this game to the combat in the original, uh, you know, actually, it would be better to say the lack of combat in the original because you can basically sprint through literally the entire game without fighting anything. I seem to recall that being the ideal strategy because the combat was kind of bad. The combat's really bad in the original game. So I'm, I'm actually kind of wondering if the if moderately, significantly improved combat in this game actually hurts it in some ways. I don't think so. I think it makes the game more playable. If you're expecting super in-depth combat that's gonna challenge your major league gamer brain, uh, you are... Probably playing the wrong game. Yeah. Oh, okay, there's, there's stuff There's in one here. in here crawling around, the, well, there's two in here crawling around the record store. Do I get a blank Ow! Yeah. Okay, I might die. Oh, you seem to have their attack pattern a little... A, a little bit. It's a little more down-packed than I do. I don't think I would've dodged that cube vial. Vile. Okay, well, we need to heal immediately. All you've got left is a syringe and one health drink. Oh, I didn't realize I had a health drink left. Well, whatever. The health drink only heals like half of your health, and the syringe feel heals all of your health. I gotcha. So you don't necessarily want to be using the syringes all the time. Okay. Would you say this is a good game to take slowly? Just kind of go through it and uh, study the posters, see the detail they put into it? Yeah, I would say so. Glue. Glue? Crazy glue. Oh, what vinyl am I supposed glue. to do with glue? And a record with half of a... No, it's half, half of a vinyl record. Music can bring you back to those wonderful moments you thought lost. And now you've unlocked the door so you can go out that way. Always got to keep yourself plenty of exits. Let's see if we can find the other half of that vinyl. Who knows where that is? It's probably somewhere. I'm Maybe. guessing it's not in here, though. Do you, do you think oh, wait that... a minute. I'll take that. Ah, health drink. Yes. No, my commemorative health drink. <laughs> I'm, just a, I'm just a menace. If there, there will not be a single unbroken window in this town by the time I leave. So, is there optional stuff in this game? Like this record, for example, is that an optional thing, or is it? No, that's that's mandatory. A lot of this stuff is mandatory. Um. Ooh. Oh, you had said earlier, like when this game takes place. Yeah. Um. And I was, I was saying, and then I forgot. The door that wakes the darkness, opening into nightmares. Fun. You said they didn't really pin down a specific time period, but it's like 70s, they, 80s, 90s. They didn't have a specific time, time period. There is a journal you can find at some at one point in the game, and people discovered that if you... On the PC port of this game, if you open the game files and copy the text that is in the journal... Because the text is, blo is blacked out for the date. Uh-huh. If you copy the text that is in the journal and paste it into a Word document... Hmm or some type of word processor. It says that this game takes place in 1993, 
Okay, so roughly thereabouts. But I don't think this game actually takes place in 1993. No, why not? I think this game takes place in the late 80s, just because of how everything looks. Yeah, sure. I mean, it could be a 1990, it could be 1993, but this town is kind of a backwater, so everything is a couple years behind culturally. Maybe. Oh, God, the door's locked. Yeah, I can't go nope. to the corner store. Nope. Although, I, can no. you go to the corner store? Maybe, no, no just, not that way. Ah, uh, just do what they do and like, kind of flop in there without even using your hands. Yeah, how come they can flop in there? Oh, I can't get in that way either. They can't sprint super fast. You can probably just outrun not them. Not really. You can kind of just run away from them. Bugs! Smashing the bugs, yep. James Sunderland Extermination Services. I kill every bug manually with my own bare hands because I don't like using poison. Speaking of which, sounds like there's a really big bug over here that's going to have to be smashed. You can probably just ignore it. Ooh, uh, shopping carts right here. Oh, I do need to get groceries. Yeah. Damn it. Grocery store is locked. Going to have to flop through the window. Hello. Window's boarded up. Dang it. Oh, back entrance maybe? Back entrance. Oh. Oh. I'm going to be honest. I don't think I found this when I was playing. Ow! Where is that bug? Fuck you! Stupid bug. You say you hadn't found it yet? I don't think I found this on my playthrough. Could be an optional location. Maybe. Oh, man. And I might be too far into the game that I can't go back there. Uh-oh. I'm sure you'll play through this game more than one time. 50% off? I think you mean 100% off. Five for your discount. Ow! I'm back here. What do you want? Oh, God. You want some of this? God damn it. Oh, it's so uh, gross. Oh, it's in my nose. Oh. Wow. You got to do a headbutt attack. I mean, you don't got arms, so. Yeah, they're, they're, they're in straight jackets, it looks like. So you, you were injured and you said you wanted to rewrite Oh, yeah. Them. So if you open the menu when you're injured, it actually changes <laughs> how everything looks in the menu. I see. The more injured you get, the more it goes from, like, the normal color to red, or to yellow to red. I gotcha. Also, you can see James' jacket gets more bloody the more injured he is. So I, I'm still slightly injured. So if you drink a healing poultice, it'll... Make your jacket cleaner. You don't have to go to the dry cleaner. It's just drink a healing juice. Andy's tool shop. I can get a different thing. Actually, yeah. Why? Why? Well, well hang on. Grab some pliers. Watch out the enemy to your left. And... Ooh. Oh, I've been happy. We'll have to check this out later. We're so gonna... these are um, these are we, I think they're odd odd photographs is the name. And there's a certain amount in the game, and they, uh, they can... I don't know if they get you a different ending, but they unlock stuff when you get all of them. Okay, get a collectible. I'll write down what I've learned so far. Maybe it'll help you somehow. If you're reading this, I'm probably dead. Great. Okay. Some strange notes in the street. It seems like they're attracted to light. Louder sounds as well. If you want to survive, stay in the dark. Stay quiet. Probably won't save you anyway. <laughs> Fun notes. I like these. They can be killed. Just make sure they stay down. Oh, hi. Well, what do you want me to do? Just kind of stand over their body for a few minutes make sure they don't twitch? No, that's why you just keep hitting them after they're on the ground. Man, how much bile you got in you? A lot. Gotta have to come back there with some kerosene and a lighter to set fire to it so it doesn't turn into a crimson head. This place, all it's ever brought me is pain and misery. Neat. This page intentionally left blank. Ooh, another drink. It's a nice motorhome. I mean, as far as motorhomes go. Yeah, it's pretty small. So, how much of the game is wandering around this... One city. Uh, this is just the beginning of the game. Okay. I thought I maybe... I mean, you, you are in this town for most of the game. Yeah. But this is just the beginning of the game. Okay. What do we got here? A diner? A gas station? What's this? Uh... Let's get diner. Happy, happy burger. burger! Oh, man. I could definitely use being happy. <laughs> Hello. Do you have any chicken stamp... Happy chicken sandwiches? I don't trust you. Uh, it seemed like it was already dead. Uh, here's something moving around. Wait! I knew it! 
I knew it! You, you were just gonna get up! You stepped on him like five times, but he still got up! God damn it! You can't trust him. Ow! Hey, do you mind? We got limited healing items. Rude. All right. Yeah. This is decidedly the le this is decidedly the unhappiest I have been in a burger place. Oh wait, I just thought of a time I was more unhappy in a burger place. Yeah. Is it when your your uh, dad leave you somewhere and it just kind of abandoned you at a burger place and now you associate all Wendy's with sadness? No, I was I was at a McDonald's when I was a small child and I went to open the door to go into the play place and I had taken my shoes off and I ripped my big toenail off. The oh, door. you're yeah, that one was not great. That's right. I went in there. We can't go through the the staff door. Oh, there we go. Oh, ah, you would have noticed if there were yellow paint there, but oh well. Yeah, but see, I figured it out without yellow paint. And I might not have. Hey, a syringe, useful. And I can open the door from this side? Yes. Okay. Uh, all right, we are here. We need to go. Where do you need oh, to go? Oh, so the check mark is there is a there is a point of interest there, and you have investigated the point of interest. That's oh, what the so check mark is saying. All done. All right, so we need to go out of the burger place and then right. Can you pull up that map again and explain to me why you know you gotta go right? Uh, because we wanna go to Neely's bar. Because it's circled? Yeah. I mean, there's a couple things that are circled here. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, there's a thing trying to kill me. I need to leave. Ah, uh, yeah, this might be important. Jukebox is covered in a rag. There's a save point right there. Walls are plastered in something. What's this? Is it Mary? No, it's a jukebox, James. Come on, think. <laughs> hey! That might be something useful. A broken record player. Well, the, the broken record is what we need. <laughs> oh, wow, that's really broken. Oh, hey, this is the other half of the record I needed. I kind of figured it was going to be. Then you glue it back together. Can you, like, go into your inventory and combine the two? Just, like, smash them together? I don't know what got into him. He just started smashing the thing. Had to throw him out. He ran off, cried he'd fix everything. I gathered up what I could. Still haven't found one of the buttons. Half the record is still lodged inside, but the other part's missing. Figure he must have taken it. Come to think of it, he did run towards Groovy. So if you hadn't found that already, now you know mm -hmm. where to go for it. Anyway, maybe go check up on him if he's all right. He lives over at Saul by Pharmacy Apartment 9. Now it's telling us to go to Saul Street Apartments. Wait, is it? Yeah, see. Because he said lives over at Saul. Saul Street Apartments. Okay, and there's a line that's been added there that says jukebox. Okay, yeah, so we know the jukebox is there. Well, I can't get in there. It's locked. Maybe shove half a broken vinyl in there and unwedge the door. Aw, oh, man. What if you could actually do that? Break it even further? You have to go find more glue, but there's not more glue in the game, so you're just kind of soft-locked out of the game. That would be very frustrating, and that would make it really like an old point-and-click adventure. Like if you ate that pie, and then you had no more pie to throw at the Yeti to get past <sighs> the Yeti. So now we can put this in there. The button might be still missing. Because you can rotate it like that, then you can put that down. There we go. Okay, then put that in there. Vinyl record added. Oh, wait, we still need the button, though. Yeah, that's what I was saying. The button number two, I think. Or yeah. All right, well, we gotta, go, we gotta go find the button. Is it somewhere? I'm assuming it's somewhere in this building. It didn't fly off too far. No, because the guy, the guy broke it, and he smashed it up. Mm. For some reason, the dude smashed up the, the record player. And he ran away with box. half the record. Ran away with half the record and the button. And the button. Oh, okay. We didn't see a button on his person when we got it. We haven't found him. Yeah. <laughs> Janitor came in the other day, drunk and in tears, had half a record with him, kept yelling, we gotta fix it somehow. I was willing to do it just to shut him up, so I got the glue out from the cabinet, but then he realized he only had one half, so he ran out. Can't do much about the record. Maybe ask around Neely's next time you're there. It might be one of theirs. There you go. So if you found one half, it'll point you toward the other half. So go all the way to the intersection and then turn left. I don't remember if your um, your position was shown on those maps back in the day. I don't think it was, but I could be wrong. So being able to look at the street science in this game, maybe that's an optional difficulty setting in this game. You can't see your position on the map. That might be. You will see sooner or later, blood. That looks like a shape. Oh, hi. Well, it's coming back. Oh, it's coming back. We'll read that code note later. No, no, stop it. Stop it. Bad. Bad. Okay, stop moving. All right, now I can read the note. So you tried 40, 0 to 4013, 
And then 40, 14 to 44, 39. So maybe you could pick it up where he left off and go 4441. Damn, why did you check every single one up until those? Holy shit, my god. Because he had to run. There's only, only 10,000 possible combinations. So you can get through them all eventually in a day. The bugs are probably one of my least favorite enemies just because they're very small, they're hard to see. Um, and... Seem like more of an annoyance than anything. They're kind of a, they're, they're kind of just an annoyance. I wonder if I find anything else in regards to the keypad, or if I, uh... If that's all I get. I did not actually find those notes when I was playing it. Hmm. So, I haven't even been in there yet. No. No, we're gonna go in the pharmacy. No. We're okay, we're not, we're not going in the pharmacy. I'm not, I'm not, There's I don't still... need to go in the pharmacy. The pharmacy's dumb, I hate it. No one should go in the pharmacy. No one ever goes in the pharmacy. Maybe he'll buy it. Maybe he'll go away. Radio's still going off a bit. No, all right, it's I can just reach through there and grab that. Come on. Oh, there's a bug. Hey, we found the, uh, Soul Street Apartments. Okay, does a bug set off the radio? That's kind of annoying, but I guess it's important to know that it's there. Oh, I don't get a map for Soul Street Apartments. <laughs> Get. Uh, can you not shove that thing out of the way? There you, you can. Go. You just gotta like orient yourself right. correctly. Watch out! Could be an enemy hiding in wait here. No, no. Okay. So um, I really like how these apartments are laid out. <laughs> I really like these apartments. Yeah, you want to live in these apartments? Apartment five. Well, I mean, aside from the fact that they're horribly cursed and they're filled with terrible, terrible monstrosities. Apartment 5 left his key, says there's a leak from upstairs, gotta check it out. Okay. Apartment 2 is locked. Ah, just use your tool to break it down. You know, if you, you were at the hardware store, you could have picked up a sledgehammer and kind of broken your way into these areas, gotten the items, but... Oh, hey, it's a pharmacy. In apartment... Wait, the uh, pharmacy is connected to the apartments. That's a little weird, but I like it. I'm here for it. I think it's cool. There's... Oh, that says 1982 on it. Oh, does the date it? the date on that is 1982. Yeah, all right, yeah. Huh. I didn't notice that last time, but that actually has a date on there. That makes a lot of sense, though. Hmm. If it's, I mean, if the game takes place in 90... If... Closer to 82 than 92, you feel. Yeah. Oh, boy, sardines. No, wait, that's a syringe. Oh, I poked myself. God damn it. it, it the syringe is so gross looking, too. <laughs> I, 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 like... I wouldn't want to inject myself with that. There's a mysterious fluid. Look how this. gross this thing is! Why is James just shoving that into him? <laughs> yeah. Guess he's just. Don't be stupid, James! He's just desperate. Yeah, I think this apartment building is really cool. Um. Once we actually get into some of the apartments, I, I think they're really neat looking. That's an unlockable ending for this game, is if you don't inject any of those syringes, you get a better ending. But if you do, you, you finish the game and you're like, we did it! We saved the, we saved the day and we completed Silent Hill, but also I have hepatitis because I had no idea what was in that syringe. So it's kind of on me. I'm going in through this vent. <laughs> this doesn't seem a very secure... Uh... It's uh Wait, why? That's just a hole. That's not even a vent. It's just a hole. There's no vent there, it's a hole! Alright, whatever. This is a neat little studio apartment. Yeah. Uh, I'm certain now it's I'm, coming. I'm certain now it's coming from that apartment. I keep telling them, why won't they do something? It's unbearable. I can feel it seeping into my skin, pushing itself into my lungs. Huh. There are some words scratched huh. out. Huh. 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 Hmm. <laughs> that might actually be, uh, that might actually pertain to something later in the game. Hmm. Alright. Foreshadowing! Okay, yeah, so the guy we're looking for lives in apartment 9. Maybe we can find a key to apartment 9 in apartment 5, or maybe there's a broken down wall. What is this, apartment 6 right next door? This is, this is apartment 5. And if it's odd number, then maybe this is apartment 7 right here we're going into. And then maybe the wall will be broken down into apartment 9. I can make unsettling noises too, he yelled from upstairs. Oh, well. I I guess you can use the balcony. Maybe apartment nine well, is just, above we'll you. Just use the fire escape then. I'm sure no one will mind. I guess, it's not really a balcony. You can't like put lawn chairs out here. It might be a fire code violation. Whoa. All right, well, let's get off this as quickly as possible. Seems like it might be a little unstable, yeah. Oh, damn. 
Okay, well, I guess we are in this apartment now. Oh, can't read that. And then she came and washed it all away. It all started to make sense again. It's this place. I can't fight it. Gotta get my head straight. Quick stop at Texan, then we going. Texan, mm, eh? The so I might station. have to stop at the Texan Cafe. Oh, I thought it was a gas station called the Texan. We're just gonna see what's behind this door. Oh. What's the matter, James? Is it stinky? Is it stinky? Is it big foul? Doorknob won't let go of your hand? Oh. Yeah, that's gross. Oh, someone got printer ink all over the doorknob. You know what's really cool is it's still on his hand. And if you open the map, it's still on his hand. And then you, and you look at the back side of the map and that was the handprint on it. Yeah. And it like actually stays on there for a while. All right. Well, if you're going to, you know what, James, if you're going to reach in there, at least use your dirty. No, it's not the dirty. James, you have a hand that is absolutely disgusting right now. Why are you sticking your, de your the decent hand into? All right, James. If you're going to lose a hand, you don't want to lose your dominant hand. Then you write with that hand. You high five with that hand. What are you doing? Oh, it sounds gross in there. Oh, there's the button. Oh, hey, we found the jukebox button. Button, button. We found the button. Now there's a toilet, James. Want to stick your hand in that? You know you do. Don't be shy. It'll be really funny, James. So it was. It's a boot camp story. I was in boot camp, and I was supposed to be guarding the barracks while the rest of the platoon was off doing something. It was just me and another guy, and. Uh, I had to use the bathroom, so I went to the bathroom and I uh, I clogged it up, and I'm like, ah! I, thought, I went to the other guy. I said, how do I how do I clear the the blockage? And he's like, there's a there's a plunger in the supply closet. The supply closet's locked. They locked the supply closet when the drill instructors were out. What do I do? I don't know. So I just shoved my finger in the toilet and I cleared the blockage with my hand. Ew. Yeah. Why'd you do that? Cause I didn't want to get in trouble. You, you should have just got a plunger. There, uh, like I said, it was in the supply closet. I couldn't get in the supply closet. So far, this seems to be a really well-made, really, really well-looking game. Mm -hmm. Well-looking game, yeah, that makes no sense. So far, this game seems great. It's... I have really, really enjoyed it so far. I think it's been really good. Toluca Lake, Rosewater Park, South Bay. I don't Bay. think you can get into the American Cafe until after you get the thing. So we'll try to... Because you get to it through Neely's. So I think we'll try to go to Texan, but I don't think you can get into Texan yet either. I see. And... You don't really come back to the second. This is just like chapter one, and you complete. I think you do come back here later, but I don't know yet. I can't remember. Did I get in there? No. None of these places have like uh, security alarms going off or anything, but I guess it's, I guess it's to be expected. It is the '80s. Well, that also depends on how old that receipt is, you know. That is true too. Is that receipt current, or how long has Silent Hill been abandoned for? We don't know. Hey, here's how I get in. All right. Oh, a library. Hmm. A bookstore. You can find a lot of notes in here. A syringe, maybe, tucked away back here. I kind of hope there would be something in here. But it's it's just lore. Yeah. It's just lore in here, and I don't want lore. I want items so I don't... I didn't seem to give you any resources or a way to progress the story, so yeah. Lore is, lore is fun. Check that one off the list. Check something else. How about that one right there? Uh, that one is just the American Cafe, oh. which we have, or yeah. the not the American Cafe, but the, like the laundromat, mm. which isn't labeled apparently. You, you say you pull up that map a lot, huh? Yeah, I have yeah. to. I'm not. Oh. I haven't visited the barber shop yet. Oh, here we go. Remember, if you see a window who, uh, see if you have a building whose windows haven't been broken yet, you can probably go check it out. Totally break it. I saw him again, or at least I think so. He says he didn't, but I don't know anymore. I'm tired. I can't find it. Doesn't matter. Scraping noise again. That's very cryptic and vague. Thank Neat. you. Any any items in here? Any shaving gel? You know, I'm kind of hungry, <sighs> and I might be desperate enough to eat shaving gel later. No, okay. I know who you know who does want to eat shaving gel. Excuse me. Not him. He. Hey, I was that. I hit you. You get back here. <laughs> you. Swing and a miss. Wily little fucker. <laughs> oh, it's just open. Oh, yeah. Don't have to break the windows on this one. Still gonna though. Spill the beans over an honest cup of coffee. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy the memory. God, there's so many like things here that's just James's subconscious fucking with him. <laughs> Beep, beep, boop. Oh. Oh, you found a nickel. Neely's bar. Oh. Okay. I don't know why I found a... Excuse me. 
Hey, hey, bartender, can I get a non-alcoholic? No, why, why? Okay, an alcoholic, fine, please, please. Three drink minimum. Uh, yeah, it's kind of dark. It's a shame you don't have a flashlight, exa for example, to brighten up where you're looking. We will find one eventually. It's just we haven't quite gotten there yet. Now I have everything I need with the exception of... Uh, I do want to see what the keypad is. I don't know if you ever find the code for that. Oh, is it a red herring? Is it a screw with your head? I don't know. I'm just smashing windows, man. Who knows? That window that you don't smash might be the one that holds items that you need. All right, just out of curiosity, for, from 000 to 4013. And they picked up again at 4014 to 4439. Oh, God, so it could... Not 4440, no. Hey, it was 4444. Wow, okay. I didn't think it was going to be that easy. Yeah, there you go. I imagine there are some people that only took a look at the first page and didn't realize there was yeah. a bunch of numbers already checked off he, the list. He was really close. Yeah. Oh, my God. Why? Now I'm kind of mad that I didn't find that note or come in here when I was playing it. Oh, <laughs> Well, there's only a couple of items in here, like a coffee maker and, um... Bullets, and... You still don't have a firearm to fire the bullets. No, not yet, but we'll get one eventually. I hope. Rotted meats. I don't know why there's bullets just on the shelves next to, uh, old papayas, but, you know. Oh, it's in the... Yeah, you're right. It's a small grocery store. It shouldn't be bullets. Oh, you haven't been to the computer store yet. You can get some computer supplies. Get a new button. Thank God we can finally get... Uh, nothing. An, an old e-machines monitor. Oh, someone broke my computer monitor window. <laughs> oh man, someone broke my window. I, I can't repair it. I'm a I'm a electronics repairman, not a window repairman. Someone broke my window. Now I gotta install Linux. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we want. Uh, oh, we need to put the coin in first. Yep. Put the Neely's bar coin, and then we want C. What if you accidentally push the wrong one? You gotta go find another coin? You know, I haven't tried. It might just be like, no. <laughs> ah, yes. This is my favorite jaunty song. I love drinking to this song. <laughs> James is looking at the jukebox in disbelief. Man, is this what people listen to out here? They're fucking weird. Oh, uh, there you go. <laughs> Mary loved this song. It was our song. We danced to it. Mary must be at the wherever the lake tours thing is. A bit of an assumption she's, to make. She's at Rosewater Park. In my restless dreams. That's where I am, playing checkers at the park. Park on the lake. Spent the whole day there. Just the two of us staring at the water. You know, if your record's doing that, it's probably. Oh. Damn, now you can't listen to that music anymore. It's shattered, just like your memories, James. No, it's a different Silent Hill game. <laughs> a brooch? Why did it dispense a key? Oh, it's a key. It's an ornate key. That key goes to the back room! And Mary's there like, hey, what's taking you so long, James? I'm going to the lake later. You want to come with me? Uh... Or the office of the bar, yeah. Came back after you left. It's fine. He didn't try anything. He just seemed sad. Mumbled something about getting out of town with someone. I wasn't going to let him drive in his condition, so I locked him out. His car should be out back. Maybe check if it's still there in the morning. It's a greenish... Blue one, plate number ending with six, I think. Okay, so we just gotta go on a hunt for that vehicle. All right, and it should be pretty close. Do because... you have the car key? Did you pick that up just now? No. He's think... gonna break into it again. Yeah, we'll just break into his car, it's of fine. Of course. <laughs> Everyone's just hiding because they know that, uh, they know that James is here and he's gonna smash their windows. Yeah. And maybe, maybe hit them. Because James is just hallucinating all those things that I've been killing have just been people running away from me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, I found his car. Ah, that's the one that ends in 06 there. Your bluish green, you mean teal? Mm. 
Um, a uh, pile of. He's not looking so hot. Is that a is that a he or is it just a pile of organs? What was this? I think it's just a jacket. Oh, don't don't pick it up, oh. James. Oh, it's because the key's under it. Oh, it's squidgy. Oh. Oh, uh, how'd that happen to him? He just break the Woodside Apartments. Oh, um, oh, there's a couple of them in here. We, uh, hold on, we need to break into that vehicle. I think maybe. Uh, maybe oh, take no. shelter. Oh God. Uh, Okay. Oh, we're so, we're you, you so should probably screwed. Leave. You should probably leave. Fighting a bunch of them at once is just a, a bad idea in general. No, I must kill. It's kill or be killed. Die. It is very persistent. All right, you got it. Now it's time to inject yourself with strange fluids. Yay, strange fluids, my favorite. Oh, it's really not good out here right now. You know what? The wind is picking up ever since you picked up that key. You know, maybe we'll just leave. I think we'll just leave. We'll you just can, leave. Find some shelter. Leaving, leaving is an excellent idea right now, and I think is the thing that we should do. Where are we going? Uh, we need to go left. Where, where are we going, actually? We're going to the Woodside Apartments. Oh, are we supposed to be going to the lake? Well, I don't know how to get to the lake, so we're gonna go to the. Oh God, that, that was a. So sometimes, like, sometimes really big things go like flying by, and yeah. it, it, it's, it's like the game is. <laughs> like. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. Okay, this is none of what I'm seeing here is good, and I don't want to interact with it at all. So we're just going to leave. There's no turning back now. That sign said it, so you can't do it. You gotta, you gotta stay where you are. Let yourself get eaten. Here we go. Okay, I found Woodside Apartments. How can you even find it in the fog? Texan Cafe. We gotta leave. Meet me there. Who wrote that note? Maybe it was Mary. We have a key that let us in, and there we go. Act one complete. Possibly put back out there later. I'm sure. But for now, a bit of a reprieve. Clearly, this will be the thing that tells me where Mary is and how I will find her. This is a fortune telling machine? I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Hit the button. Three bright coins and the five holes. Oh, I gotta find coins! Uh, we already put one in the vending machine, in the, the jukebox. Ah! Now I gotta come back with coins, I guess. Apparently, Mary hated you because she lured you into this town and made you do all these puzzles. This is her revenge. Mary's revenge. God damn it, Mary. Yeah, this seems like a very enticing game. I certainly want to play more of it, so maybe I'll uh, do that. Maybe I'll play some of this game in my spare time. Yeah, that's, um, that's you know, the beginning of Silent Hill 2. I have enjoyed it immensely. I think it's really good. This is definitely one of the best horror games that I think has ever been made. How do you feel about Silent Hill 1, 3, and 4? Silent Hill 1 is fine. It's kind of rough to try to play it now. Silent Hill 3 is good. I like Silent Hill 2 better. I actually really liked Silent Hill 4, but most people that are fans of Silent Hill did not like 4. Okay, that's fair. I mean, the same can be said about Resident Evil 4, too. Uh, Silent Hill 4 was not actually meant to be a Silent Hill game. It started out as a completely unrelated horror game that was going to be called Sullivan's Victims, and then basically the funding for it got cut, but because enough time had been spent on it, Konami was like, well, we'll just make it a Silent Hill game and put the Silent Hill team on it to finish the game. Ew, it's the, it's the Star Fox Adventures of Survival Horror. It's it's still decent. I think it's pretty good. Mm. I like it. Okay, I mean, I played it too. I don't have any huge complaints about it, but... I enjoyed it, but yeah, it's not an amazing Silent Hill game. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So, you uh, would you prefer to see Silent Hill 3 remade after this, or do you think Silent Hill 1 needs it more? I think Silent Hill 1 needs it more. I would prefer them remake Silent Hill 1 if they're going to remake another one, but I also don't know if they will. You say it didn't really have all of the elements that make Silent Hill 2 so memorable, so maybe they could actually reimagine Silent Hill 1. Maybe, but like I would just remake Silent Hill 1 as it is. I guess it all depends on uh, how well received this game is, and so far it seems like it is... Surprisingly well received. A lot of people were not expecting it to be good, and so far it seems quite good. Mm -hmm. Thanks for sharing it with me. You are welcome. And I hope you uh, have fun from you know where you are right now to the end of the game. I don't know if fun is the right word to describe the game, but yeah, I, hopefully I enjoy it. <laughs> I hope you get traumatized as you want. Yay, trauma, my favorite. <laughs> I like we really... Didn't even make it that far into the game, to be completely honest, but... 
Good. That means that whenever I do sit down to play more of it, that means there's more game for me to enjoy. I didn't even get to, I didn't even get to find the... I didn't even get to find the, the flashlight or the gun. Didn't find the flashlight, didn't find the gun, didn't find the pyramid head that everyone knows about. Everybody knows about pyramid head. Stop putting pyramid head in other stuff. 